Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to another video. I hope that you are all having an amazing day. So for today, I am going to show you different ways to upload photos and videos to your Instagram account using your PC. So yeah, let's get on to it. So the first method I'm going to show you guys is the easiest method, which is turning your Google Chrome browser right here into a mobile version of Instagram. So first off, let's type Instagram right here. Let's search Instagram. Let's go to their website like so. And then if your Instagram is connected to your Facebook account, then all you have to do is continue as blank or, you know, just log in normally. All right. So this right here is what Instagram looks like when we open it on our browser. So yeah, as you can see, we can't post videos or photos. There's no option to upload stories and stuff like that. So in order to change this website version into the mobile version, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our keyboard and we are going to first press Control shift i right there and it's going to bring this window right here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to press Control shift m like so. And then after pressing Control shift m what we're going to do is we're going to refresh the page right here. And then after refreshing it, as you can see, we have now opened the mobile version of Instagram. So right now we can now finally add stories if you want. We can do this right there. And then we can, you know, do all the same things that we can do on our phone. Uh, let's discard this. And then we can also add photos and videos right here. We can adjust the photo uh, like that. Go to next, write a caption, uh, add location, people and stuff like that. So everything that you can do on your phone, you can actually do it here. And yeah, you can view your activity. You can view stories right here. And you can even access your uh, profile like so. So um, if this method right here does not work for you, we can move on to the next method, which is to use an extension for Google Chrome. Let's open a new tab and then let's type in desktop Defy, like so. And then click enter. And then we're going to choose this website right here, which is going to lead us to the Chrome Web Store, like so. And then all we have to do next is click this button right here, which says add to Chrome, like so. And then click add extension, like so. And then as you can see right here, it is now added because like it changed to remove from Chrome. And then all you have to do next is go to the upper right portion of Google Chrome right here on the extensions portion, click it, and then search for this Topify, click on this pin right here, and then add it to your list of extensions right there. So if you wanna like go to Instagram's mobile version, what we have to do is you just have to click this button right here and then it's going to bring you to Instagram's mobile version, like so. And then just log in once again. So uh, yeah, there it is. We have now accessed the mobile version of Instagram on our Google Chrome using an extension. So uh, yeah, that is it for the second method right here. As you can see, we can do the same things that we can do on our phone. So if this method right here does not work for you, you can actually do one more method that I know of. Uh, we're going to open up a new tab and then we're going to type in Bluestacks. So this right here is a program that emulates an Android phone, which you can download apps on and stuff like that. So yeah, let's download it right here. Download Bluestacks 4, keep and then install, run. And then click yes, install now, wait for the download to finish, and then yeah. Okay, so there it is. We have finally finished installing Bluestacks, and what we have to do next is just type Instagram right here, search for it, and then download it right here, install. But like before that, we have to sign in on our Google Play account. Right here, sign in. Uh, next. Okay, so once you finish logging into Google Play, this is what you can see. You can finally install Instagram right here. Just click install and then wait for the download to finish. Once again, 
Okay, so it's installing right there. You can actually click not now if you want. This is what it looks like. We've finally opened Instagram right here. Hold on. Let me drag this a little bit to the top. Okay, so this is what it looks like when we open the app inside BlueStacks. We can click log in and then do the same thing earlier. Log in with your account. Or like log in with Facebook if you want. So. And then click continuous add or whatever your name is. Okay, so as you can see right here, we have finally finished logging into our Instagram account on BlueStacks. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to transfer our photos or videos from our computer to BlueStacks so that Instagram will be able to identify them and will be able to upload them to your account. So um, in order to do that, what we need to do is we're going to go to home right here, go to system apps right here, go to media manager, click import from windows right here, and then just choose whatever photo you want to upload. And then it's going to upload it straight to um, BlueStacks right there. So as you can see right now, it is now on the imported files tab right here. And then what we're going to do next is we are going to go back to Instagram like so. And then we can now add our story by pressing plus, going to this icon right here in the lower left corner and just click on that photo. Then yeah, right there. We can add all of the things that we want as we normally can on our phones. Send to, and then just, you know, scroll. And then you can also upload normally to your profile, like here. Click plus, then as you can see right there, we have our pictures right there. We can adjust whatever we want. Uh, click next. We can still change the colors and stuff. Um, upload stuff like that write a caption tag people allocation yeah that's all the methods that i know on how to upload photos and videos on instagram using your computer if you have suggestions or if you know other methods on how to upload videos and photos using your computer feel free to comment down below so that we can help each other out and um if this video right here helped you i hope that you would consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up because like it actually helps with the algorithm. It helps my channel a whole lot if you do so. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys. I hope you stay safe out there and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. As always, don't hate, appreciate, bye.